If this is the case, in the rest of the hadith, uh, in the, the Rasul Rasul said in, in, in another narration says, وَإِذَا اخْتَلَفَ هَذِهِ الْأَجْنَاسِ فَبَاعِعُوا كَيْفَ شِئْتُمْ Then if these two species, and if, and if the species are different, then sell as you wished, إِذَا كَانَ يَدًا بِيَدْ As long as it is hand to hand, meaning at the same time. So, if you're selling gold for silver and silver for gold, right guys? You're selling gold for silver and silver for gold, then you can have more and more and less of each. You can sell one kg of gold for 10 kg of silver, no problem. But the only condition is, has to be at the same time. Okay? In the same way, let's go back to the category of food. In the foodstuff category, we have the uh, wheat for salt, for example. So if I'm selling wheat and I want to buy salt uh, with, with it, so I give the, give, the, give the salt merchant my wheat, and I want to get salt in return, I can I can easily sell 10 kgs of wheat for one kilo kilo of salt, no problem. However, it has to be at the same time, right? Hand in hand, in the same majlis, in the same uh, uh, place. You can't say, for example, I'll give you I'll give you one kg now, and you can give me the 10 kgs later. No. Okay. Now look at the gold and silver. Gold gold and silver in our time is is like. Uh, Gold and silver in our time is the uh, monetary currency we have with us. Because the monetary currency doesn't have any value, right? Monetary currency in reality doesn't have any value. It's a piece of paper. Is there zakat on paper? Give me an answer. No. Is there zakat on paper? I have a book, or I, have a, or, 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 I have a room full of books. That's a lot of paper, isn't it? Do I have to give zakat on it? No. So why do I have to give zakat on the pounds that I have in my, in my account? Because it stands for the equivalent in gold. And it stands, and the reals stands for the equivalent, for example, in silver. So each currency that has been set by each country has its equivalent in either gold or silver. So for example, the Kuwaiti dinar has its equivalent in gold. The American dollar has its equivalent in silver. The gold, the, 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 uh, the uh, pound has its equivalent in gold, for example. Right? So every currency is attached to one uh, uh, either gold or silver. The historical background of this was that people used to have difficulty in transporting gold and silver because they used to have a lot of robbers on the highways. So what people used to do is that uh, they used to put their money with one bank, and the and the bank would write a piece of paper saying that my this this guy's put this much, this much money with me, and the bank would would give you that piece of paper. So you take that piece of paper to the other branch of the bank in the, in the other country and you give that piece of paper to them and then they would give the same money back to you in that country. What's the benefit of that? The benefit was the, the safety. So this piece of paper became more and more useful. Hmm? This paper, piece of paper became more and more useful because this paper, piece of paper was written on it. It entitles the owner to the, to the possessor of this note 10 pounds in, in gold, for example. And if you see the, the, the modern currency, it will say that. Uh, I, I don't know if it says it now, but you know, in a lot of the old currencies, it says that. It will say that, that this entitles the owner to, etc., etc., in, in gold or silver. Okay, I know people are looking at their 10 pound bills now. But uh, yeah, this is what it, what it usually used to, used to say, and this is what it used to, uh, the value that it used to hold. Obviously, as time went past, this was changed, and people changed the use of, of, of monetary currency and they made it into as if the currency itself has value. And so because this is the case, so because this is the case, the ulema have deferred whether riba takes place in monetary currency or not. Monetary currency which is the paper money or not. Uh, into two different opinions. The first opinion is that it doesn't take place in it. And that was the opinion of some of the ulema of Azhar uh, in, in about 20-30 years ago. And so they used to say there's no zakat on it. Because paper, isn't it? Yeah? And so there's no, uh, there's no zakat on it. And there's no, and the riba does not happen in it. So you could easily sell 10 pounds for 20 pounds because it's paper for paper. Does, does the hadith say paper for paper? No. As paper, a food item? No. So therefore, you know. But the reality of the fact is that paper has the same position as gold and silver. This is the opinion of Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah. It's the opinion of the vast majority of the ulama uh, 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 of, the, of, the, of the Hanbali Madhab, and this is really the opinion of uh, of the uh, of the. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not the vast majority of the opinion of the Hanbali Madhab. It's the vast majority of the of the of the, of the Maliki Madhab, 
and is the vast majority, is the opinion of uh, almost every alim in our time now <coughs> that the paper money has the same place as either gold or either silver. Okay, if that is the case, if that is the case, then if you're selling, remember what we said, if you're selling gold for gold, it has to be hand in hand and the same for the same. Yes, we said that. Then instead of gold, let's say pound. So that's why when I gave the brother the 10 pound, he had to give the 10 pound back at the same time and the exact amount and at the same time. But because he didn't do that, so riba took place. Is that clear, guys? Yeah? That's why riba took place. Okay. If I was, let's say, in the bank, uh, in, in, the, in the Heathrow airport when I came down, I had about 100 US dollars and I wanted to buy uh, uh, British pounds. So American dollars, for example, is worth its value in silver, whereas a British pound is attached to gold. So if I'm buying with my silver currency, I'm buying gold currency, I'm buying with my American dollars, I'm buying um, pounds. Remember, what is the condition that we have? The only We have only one condition, isn't it? The only condition is what? It has to be yad and biyad. It has to be hand in hand. Okay. So the issue is very clear, isn't it? Uh, uh, you know, uh, at, at this point, that when you have a monetary currency, has to be first of all yet and yet. Look at look at that. In both scenarios, has to be at the same time. But in only one of them, it's allowed to be an increase or decrease. That is only when the the two species are different. Okay, what happens when you're buying from the monetary to the food item category, or for the food item category, you're buying some of the monetary uh, category, right? When that is the case, then you have none of these two conditions. You can you can have uh, you know you can buy you can buy a hundred pounds for one kg or uh, for, for for ten kgs of, of of rice, and you can delay paying the hundred pounds or you can delay paying the rice. Okay, so when the when these two categories uh, are, are are taking part in the transaction, then none of these conditions are put put in it. When when two of the different species in each category, huh? are being done, such as gold and gold for silver or silver for gold, or barley for wheat and wheat for barley, for example, or rice or rice for wheat or, or, or wheat for rice, rice for water, for example, then the only condition is, has to be at the same time. And if it is the same species, gold for gold, or, or silver for silver, or wheat for wheat, or rice for rice, or water for water, then the only thing that has to be taken, uh, taken effect is... Um, uh, is uh, uh, sorry. Uh, the, the, the two conditions that need to be uh, uh, looked at here is yad and biyad, hand in hand, and at the same time, uh, hand in hand and the same quantity. Okay. When we talked about food stuff, what is the real illa, the real reason behind Rasulullah Sallallahu mentioning these three items? Also, in the gold and silver, what was the real intention of Rasulullah Sallallahu for mentioning these two items, because that is the real uh, purpose of fiqh, isn't it? To really understand what the real intention of Rasulullah Sallallahu was behind mentioning these items, so that we can understand uh, uh, the illa, the reason. Why? Because as we took yesterday, al-hukum yadur ma illa tihi. The hukum goes around, around, goes around its illa. Wherever the illa is found, wherever the reason is found, the hukum will be found. So the illa rega- regarding gold and silver is thamaniya, is, uh, is the uh, fact that it is a Money for things; it is a, a wealth for for, uh, for 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 people. So, because it is a wealth for people, so pound is a wealth. Uh, uh, you know, in, in in pound terms, do we do we count wealth? So, therefore, uh, the pound takes the hukum of of a monetary currency. On the other hand, what is the illa? What is the reason for Rasulullah mentioning wheat, barley, and salt? The, the real reason, the fiqh reason, the have differed on it. Some said it is weight. So anything that, uh, any any food item that can be weighed uh, and, and sold by weight, riba happens in it. Some said it is no, it is not weight. It is something else. It is volume. And the the, the, the most correct opinion is that it is, uh, uh, it is uh, um, uh, that it is a food item, first of all. And it is also that it is muddakhara, uh, um, uh, yani, how can I say that? It is hoarded. It can be stored. So anything therefore that, that is a food item and can be stored, can be stored, riba happens in it.